Hello, welcome to Boston Sports and Shoulder Center. If you're watching this video, you may have a few questions about your Aircast Air Select walking boot. This is the Aircast Air Select walking boot by Donjoy. It is available in both standard and short heights. Your need is dependent on the injury being treated or surgery performed. We use the short height for surgical procedures and isolated injuries related to the foot or toe, while the standard height is utilized for surgical procedures and isolated injuries related to the ankle and lower leg. The boot may be walked in at the discretion of your provider, or may be utilized for non-weight-bearing purposes such as immobilization. There are many alternative models and brands available, but generally, boots function the same. Boston Sports and Shoulder Center bills this durable medical equipment item to your insurance company. Please contact your insurance company for your benefits or contact our office for additional information. The purpose of a walking boot is to provide a comfortable means of immobilization and protection following a foot or ankle surgery, injury, or condition. The boot has a rocker style sole. This feature helps simulate a normal gait pattern during the healing process and can easily be paired with an assistive device such as crutches or a walker to make ambulation safe and easy. This is dependent on your weight bearing status and you should never progress your status without instruction to do so from your provider. The Aircast Air Select walking boot sizing is dependent on your typical shoe size and will be appropriately determined for you at your initial fitting. To apply your boot, first, unfasten all straps and remove the protective front panel. Next, place your foot flat into the boot liner. Please ensure your heel is positioned as far back in the boot as possible. Proper sizing and fit ensures your toes will fit comfortably along the bottom of the boot and are not hanging over the edge. Next, wrap the liner around your foot and leg and secure it in place with Velcro tabs. Then, replace the protective front panel. Lastly, secure the straps by lacing them through the buckle over the protective front panel. On the standard height boot, you will have three straps to fasten. On the short height boot, you will have two straps to fasten. To remove the boot, unfasten the straps, remove the protective front panel, open the liner, and gently lift your foot out of the boot. If you feel numbness or tingling in your toes quickly after applying your boot, you may have fastened straps too tight. Or, if you feel your foot is sliding forward, your straps may not be fastened tight enough. To fix this, simply unfasten and refasten the straps by loosening or tightening as necessary. If your foot is sliding in the boot, or if you have extra space on the inside of the boot, you may use the air bladder feature to add additional compression to fill the space. If your boot is standard height, either side of the boot will have a number 1 or number 2 printed on it. Turn the dial on the side of the boot to either number 1 or number 2, which corresponds to the air bladder on the respective side. Gently push the round inflation button a few to several times until the boot feels snug inside. At this point, you may turn the dial to the other number and add air to comfort, or turn the dial to the lock setting to secure the air in place. To release the air, turn the dial to either number 1 or number 2. Press the release valve button next to the dial, which will release the air from their respective air bladder. If you have a short boot, press the round inflation button on either side of the boot. The inflation button on the outside will fill the outside air bladder, and the inside inflation button will fill the inside air bladder. To release the air, press the small release valve button which is located next to the inflation button. It is best to wear a secure and supportive shoe on the opposite foot when ambulating with the boot. It is easy to slip with any other type of shoe. While slide type sandals, flip flops, or slippers may be convenient, it is not recommended nor are high heel shoes. Sneakers are a good option. While ambulating in the boot, some patients feel unstable or uneven, which may cause pain in other areas of the body, including the opposite knee, hip, and or lower back. It is possible the shoe on the opposite foot is too flat. To correct this, 
choose a supportive shoe with a thicker sole or consider an even up. Please proceed to the even up video for more information. The foam liner inside of your boot may be removed for cleaning. It is best to hand wash and lay flat to dry. The straps, protective front panel, and the outside portion of the boot may be wiped with a damp cloth. If you have additional questions regarding your Aircast Air Select walking boot, please refer to your post-operative protocol, discuss with your physical therapist, or contact our office by phone or message through the BSSC portal to speak to a certified athletic trainer.